IPOs not on the radar this year with only 68 companies going public so far. That's down 93% from the 2021 peak, which saw more than 1,000 debuts. Could the rise of AI startups help the market make a comeback? Joining us now is Tom Sosna, founder of Tasty Trade. Tom, Sam Lesson the other day actually made this point that he thinks a lot of the AI is not so much going to be uh, benefiting startups, but really benefiting big corporate incumbents like the, the common mega cap tech names we all know and love. Well, so far, that's been the case, no doubt about it. I mean, let's hope that it extends way beyond that. But so far, that's that w that's what we've seen. Would would you then bet on any major, <laughs> I'm not even going to say IPO wave, but, you know, there's a few, there's Instacart. I think there's um, one of the payment companies, maybe Stripe. I mean, there's a few that have been kind of stuck out there waiting in the wings. And wouldn't this be their market moment? I don't know if they're going to have a, a lot better window from here. Well, clearly, when you get it, the market loves new technology. And when you get this kind of excitement um, and this kind of frothiness around technology, you know, it's good for speculation. So it's good for the IPO market, especially stocks like, you know, Instacart and things like that, that have, and Stripe that have been waiting a long time to go, to bring their uh, stock public. I, I think, it, you know, it obviously is a better market now than it was a year ago when they were thinking about it. So um, from that standpoint, the answer is yes. So why aren't they going? You know, we have seen some spinoffs. We saw the J&J &J Kenview spinoff. That went reasonably well. It seems there's been a little bit of activity. So if you're Instacart, if you're Stripe, why not go now? Well, pro probably because, you know, the markets the market is very foretelling and the markets also um, they have a really good sense. It's not like the it, it's probably a strategic decision based on the amount of interest, you know, either at that specific price or, you know, how much interest they're seeing in their stock. If they're not going, it's it's there, there's a reason for it, which is, it means they can't get their stock really placed at the price they want to. Yeah. What else would you say about, I mean, are, is there a little bit of a sense that investors have been burned by the performance of, of recent IPOs and SPACs, and that's making it somewhat less palatable now? Well, of course. I mean, that's why, you know, that's, I mean, if you look at the, I, I don't know exactly what the statistic is, but I know it's in the mid 90s of, you know, of kind of all the SPAC failures, if you think about, um, you know, what's happened over the last couple of years. So investors have a right to be to take a step back and be concerned about any IPO or any price. I mean, they've been they've been force fed some really bad deals over the last couple of years. And yeah, it does things like what's happened. Things like what we've seen recently in the AI space with NVIDIA and Microsoft and all these big names, but these are trillion dollar companies. And when trillion dollar companies get frothy, you know, the rest of the market gets a little scared about, you know, some of the speculative plays. But, you know, again, it, it can't hurt. And with the strength of the NASDAQ, you're probably looking at a space that could absorb a couple of decent IPOs. I mean, I know for sure from a trader standpoint, we would love to see Stripe in the marketplace. We'd love to see Instacart in the marketplace. Yeah, and, and maybe it would give better pricing to the public investor than it would have a couple of years ago. Just a quick final question then. I still have to imagine there's going to be some startups who are hoping they can hit the public markets with something related to AI. Are you just saying people should maybe be a little bit cautious about that? Well, I mean, you're talking about a space that's no question. We've reached a level of probably some upside capitulation and a little frothiness. So I I mean, I would be, and I think you saw today, a lot of the stocks that had earnings, especially in the AI space, including AI, um, yeah. you know, they're down pretty significantly pre-market. So I think, yeah, of course, you've got to go into it with, um, you know, understanding what's happened and, and how expensive these stocks are on a relative basis right now. So you got to be careful about that.